Hi, hi, Professor Raimundas. Hi, my friends. Hi, classmates from Tartu. Uh, I'm Anton Yeshenko and I'm here to present for Friday session uh, on the seminar of software engineering. And um, yeah, I'm here in Trento on my Erasmus program. Let's begin. Hi, guys. So, by now you should see already slides over there. And let's start. So, my topic is predicting monitoring in complex symbolic sequences. And, uh, yeah, that is a subfield sub of uh, PPM that you should already know. And the PPM has a subfield of process mining that is analyzing business processes uh, based on logs. That is analyze, predict, exploit, explore, everything that based with logs that company produces. <coughs> and also, Process mining has a subfield of predictive monitoring that is online prediction of uh, of of some uh, measures or uh, some outcomes of the log of or of the business process. For example, will the process be satisfied by some measure, or what is the next sequence, or what is the next step of our business process? Uh, so. These are my research questions. They're, they're very long. I will read just one of them. Okay. Uh, how can complex symbolic sequences with structured and unstructured data content be used to predict trend of activities? Uh, now let's break it into pieces. First, what is the trend of activities? Or what is the data values? Uh, so we have a log. That is, in my case, it's a log about person. Uh, so first is activities. And uh, these are where the person is, where is his location. He can be in a disco, and then he went to bathroom, then he went to hospital, and then he died. Sorry. And uh, we have data associated with each event. That is, uh, in our case, it's temperature. can be normal, high, extra high, and whatever. And also we have a uh, timestamp. When it was at 2 a.m. he was in disco and at 15 he was already on the graveyard or in the coffin. These are, that's it. Okay. Now we will see what is the structured and unstructured content. So structured is the content that actually can be compared and can be ordered in some hierarchy. And this includes nominal values such as high, low, normal, whatever, and real values, natural numbers, or timestamps. And unstructured, on the other case, on the other way, is text, for example. In, in our case, we will use only text. And uh, the problem with it is that we cannot, we cannot order it. We cannot order it like we have five, five text or five paragraphs. We cannot order it, oh, this is bigger, this is smaller, this is even smaller. We can only... Uh, understand its content and it's very hard for for any program yet okay what is complex symbolic sequences we have uh, we have simple symbolic sequences and complex symbolic sequences these are used for encoding that is uh, what we usually do with machine learning uh, or prediction we and uh, we extract features and we encode features into some uh, some nice way to, for program to process it, and then use it for prediction. <laughs> and in our case, uh, simple simple sequences will be just taking event names or activities, control flow names, and passing it for predictor uh, for algorithm. And uh, I put it on in yellow or orange. Uh, so for each trace, it would be just disco, bathroom, or hospital, and without any information about static events, such as age, that is not changing, or other payload activities. That's why it's very, it's very simple and naive to think to rely on this. So complex symbolic sequences, on the other hand, on the other hand, they allow us allow us to uh, to encode like almost all information possible. For example, age. Then we encode the sequences. We encode sequentially, so the program can know that these are sequences. Unlike 
with simple, simple sequences. <coughs> also, we encode the payload and everything. <coughs> so now, what is actually to predict or predict future? Hmm. These are the questions. So, uh, state of the art uh, in Tartu, we have uh, many like a group of people working on this problem. So, more, so huge part of uh, uh, like current development in this field is associated with them. First is Anna Leontieva and uh, Marlon, Chiara, Francesca De Marini, Fabrizio. They um, they propose in 2015. They propose to use um, like first we encode our log into complex symbolic encoding and then use random classifier. It already gives pretty good results, but this is for prediction of outcome. An outcome can be true or false. And also they tried another technique is to encode with complex encoding and then use HMM and the uh, HMM approximation of belonging of one trace or another to, uh, to model with true or false uh, label. And then they also use random forest classifier. Okay, there is uh, one more mm, paper that is about trace classification, but they also exploit unstructured content. So they also en encode with complex symbolic encoding, and then they use some text mining tools uh, to make sense of data and to encode them into vector or uh, other, for example, paragraph factor or back of and grams, name base log count ratios, and then they use also mm, standard method for classifier classification. There is also a paper about Pol from Polato, uh, who builds transition system first, that is empirical, bu empirically built automaton based on the log. And then, when they get a new trace online, they classify they uh, classify it with. Uh, they cluster it, they cluster it with uh, car nearest neighbors to some group of other traces. And using those traces, we annotate transition system. And then we use uh, find the shortest path to predict uh, the future of our trace. The future sh shorter part is the most probable part, past, uh, path. Okay, what are the caveats? Uh, the correlation between payload and activities is not exploited. That's pretty bad because we have like we have few uh, yeah we have for example in this case disco, bathroom, hospital, coffee and uh, we have t temperature of the person and these are uh, extremely correlated between each other. For example, when he went into the hospital temperature was extra high and then we cannot predict one uh, like discarding another and be uh, with very good accuracy. Also, most uh, like better models uh, became available, especially with deep learning. Yeah, deep learning, and uh, that will help us to predict future data. They are uh, much uh, much more robust if you have a lot of data and you can train them. And they also proven to be very good with uh, sequential data. So, what can we do better? Let's first see what what I'm planning to use. I'm planning to use hidden marker model and conditional random field that are probabilistic uh, models, both uh, probabilistic models. They are used to, mm, mostly used to predict the labels of the of one sequence. And uh, long LSTM, that is long, long short uh, term memory, it's a neural net that uh, build in a way that uh, it that allows allows to to remember the past events better so yeah this is used for prediction so will lstm use of lstm bring us happiness i don't know but will lstm and hmm and crf together Let's let's just combine it. Will it bring us happiness? I don't know, but I'm sure that if you use smart, smartly LSTM, HMM, or CRF, 
and the CRF. Yeah, it, it can give us pretty good results. So first, uh, first use of LSTM is very naive. We'll just, for example, we want to know the temperature. So let's just train LSTM on temperature, on temperature data, and discarding everything else. It will already give us pretty good results. But we can do better. So first, use, second use is to predict one sequence by LSTM and use that to predict other sequence uh, by HMM to help to predict other sequence by HMM. And the third use is to find a nice, very, uh, very smart encoding to encode a few few sequences at the same time. For example. Uh, to, to encode few sequences at the same time uh, to use LSTM. In this case, we can encode somehow, uh, for example, that normal, normal temperature was at the office, and then uh, temp height was at home, and, and that should give us very good results, we hope. That's about it. Thank you for watching, hopefully it wasn't extremely boring and uh, yeah, see you on February 12th in Tartu. Let's have a great party. And for now, if you have comments, please state them on the forum and I will answer. Ciao.